raised without antibiotics, no hormones added, all natural, organic. The meat case at your local grocery store displays a wide assortment of descriptive labels on the packages of refrigerated and frozen food products that we purchase for cooking. For some shoppers, the terms on the labels are confusing. Others may hardly notice or take the time to read them. But for the more discerning shopper, the labeling can raise questions. Hello, I'm Stephanie Long, and on behalf of the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association, thanks for tuning in. This presentation is part of a series of educational videos on the poultry industry produced by the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association. In this segment, we hope to provide some clarity about the labeling of fresh and frozen chicken and turkey products, and also reassure you that American poultry products are among the safest and healthiest foods anywhere in the world. Product packaging contains a wealth of information, from government-required information such as ingredients and nutritional content, to voluntary information designed to help consumers choose products that offer attributes important to them. The U.S. Department of Agriculture regulates product labeling for chicken and turkey products. USDA reviews labels to be sure the information is accurate and not misleading to consumers. So let's get started with a few of the more common labels that you see at your grocer. Here's one you're probably familiar with raised without antibiotics. First, you should understand that all poultry meat sold in the United States is free of antibiotic residue, regardless of the label. That's because the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, working with poultry companies, requires specific waiting periods and other precautions to ensure no leftover residue from antibiotics is in the poultry meat that you purchase. It's important to understand that antibiotics keep chicken and turkeys healthy and free of disease. In fact, under the Certified Responsible Antibiotic Use Standard, the U.S. Department of Agriculture allows for minimal use of medically important antibiotics with veterinary oversight. Still, more consumers today are calling for poultry products that involve no antibiotics at all. To meet this growing demand, poultry companies now offer food products that have been raised without antibiotics, or the label may read, no antibiotics added, or no antibiotics ever. The use of these labels has strict requirements and sufficient documentation must be provided to the USDA to demonstrate that the animals were raised without using any products classified as antibiotics. Another familiar label in the meat counter uses the term raised without hormones or no hormones added. It should be noted that no artificial or added hormones are used in the production of any American poultry product. This is a requirement overseen by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Therefore, all packages of chicken and turkey can accurately bear the label raised without hormones. However, if a product displays this label, it must also state that federal regulations prohibit the use of hormones. Now let's look at another wave of labeling that reflects a broader trend of public demand for foods that are natural and organic. In the poultry industry, most ready-to-cook and frozen chicken or turkey can be labeled natural if processors choose to do so. This label indicates that the poultry product contains no artificial ingredients, chemical preservatives, or added color. It also indicates that there has been minimal processing, which means the product has not been fundamentally altered. The use of the term organic on food product labels is strictly governed by the USDA with specific rules and approved production methods that food producers must follow. For example, crops grown with fertilizers made with synthetic ingredients are prohibited from using the organic label. Despite these requirements, the organic label, according to the USDA, does not indicate that the product is any safer, of higher quality, or more nutritious than a conventionally raised product. Another issue among some food consumer groups today is the proper raising of birds for meat production. This has led some companies to display labels on their food products stating that the animals were treated humanely during the production cycle. The verification of these claims varies widely because these types of labels do not fall under a specific USDA definition or requirement. Despite this inconsistency, however, it is important to know that the poultry industry has long been governed under the Poultry Products Inspection Act in the use of humane practices in the processing of birds. You may see poultry products that are promoted as being raised cage-free. However, in the United States, chicken and turkeys raised for meat live in a cage-free environment. While still inside an enclosed area of some type, cage-free birds are able to freely roam with unlimited access to food and fresh water with added protection from predators and environmental extremes during their production cycle. 
Free range is another term used in food labeling. Although there is no precise definition by the federal government, it basically means the birds raised for production may have less confinement and more ability to roam freely. USDA approves free range labels on a case-by-case -case basis. Generally, the term is allowed if the flock has access to the outdoors for at least part of the day. Poultry labeled as organic must also be free range. However, not all free range poultry meets the standard of organic. A similar labeling term is pasture raised, which also indicates less confinement of the birds. However, the USDA has not developed any federal definitions for pasture raised products due to the numerous variables involved in this type of agricultural practice. And finally, in restaurants, you may see the term farm raised for poultry and other meat dishes on the menu. All poultry is raised on farms, so the phrase is more of a marketing term, or might indicate that the birds were raised on a nearby farm. Thank you for watching this video and taking time to better understand the labeling of food products that you purchase. Keep in mind that we've only highlighted the more common poultry food product labels that you see in your grocery counter. Frankly, all the labeling and terminology can be a bit overwhelming, but rest assured that the poultry industry will continue to do its part to ensure that the turkey and chicken products that you enjoy are the safest, healthiest, and most nutritious for your family. If you would like to know more, simply contact the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association or view our website at www.uspoultry.org. This message was brought to you by the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association. Funding for this video was provided by the International Poultry Expo. Please support our exhibitors and we invite you to attend.